Here we will draw the cerebral ventricles and the flow of cerebrospinal fluid, CSF. First, draw the C-shaped appearance of one of the bilateral lateral ventricles. Next, label as horns, the frontal horn, occipital horn, and temporal horn. Then label the long superior bend of the lateral ventricle as the body of the lateral ventricle and the region where the temporal and occipital horns and body come together as the atrium or trigone. Now show that the lateral ventricles empty into the midline situated third ventricle through the bilateral foramina of Monroe and then show that the third ventricle empties into the narrow cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius which empties into the diamond-shaped fourth ventricle, and show that the fourth ventricle empties into the central canal of the spinal cord. Choroid plexus is the highly vascularized secretory epithelial tissue that produces CSF. Show that it lies within the central regions of the cerebral ventricles, in the body and atrium of the lateral ventricle, and temporal horn of the lateral ventricle, and the third and fourth ventricles. Finally, indicate the flow of CSF. Show that CSF empties from the lateral ventricles through the paired foramina of Monroe into the third ventricle, down the cerebral aqueduct, and then into the fourth ventricle. From there, show that it empties down the central canal, and also show that it empties into the subarachnoid space through the foramen of Magendi in midline, and the bilateral foramen of Lushka laterally. Lastly, make a notation that CSF is reabsorbed through arachnoid villi into the dural venous sinuses. This concludes our diagram.